see was basically started by big corporations that wanted to push out these little independent yep. radio stations that were all across America, right? Yep. So it's, it's the same thing with the pharmaceutical industry. It's the same with everything. It's just America, I noticed that the government, your federal government, is actually a corporation. That was incorporated. That's right. The big corporations can't get regular end of net neutrality. So now they're having the government act like they're trying to save it. And so the very Republicans that don't want net neutrality are now supposedly supporting this because it gives them what they want. It's a total screw job and everybody's going to find out. Exactly. You know, and, and this is how corporations treat people. Right. <laughs> so, uh, well, what can you do? Right. You, well, you the problem with these with these predatory corporations is they're they're discrediting reasonable companies and free market. They're monopoly capitalists that are using government to shut down their competition and people better get mad. It doesn't mean they're going to get this now. The FCC. Let's get one thing clear. Thanks for the call, John. Great points. Let's get something clear here right now. They're not releasing these pages still so they can lie to everybody and tell them what was just passed. But it's worse than that. Congress is who makes law, not the FCC with some reg. Obama now says he's going to go after the bullets and the guns with announcements. Congress does that. The president executes the law, not the ATF. The FCC, the ATF, they're not the law givers. We elect our representatives, our servants, who then pass constitutional laws, which they don't. They're passing a bunch of garbage. But they couldn't even get Congress to do this because the bill, or at least parts of it from committee, would be public. Just like the last six amnesty plans under Bush and Obama were secret. But Senator Sessions, who's a hero in my view, has released it every time. Well, this time they won't give Congress the 320 pages, and now it hasn't been released. And why is that? Because they couldn't get this agenda through if they didn't have the public unaware of it. And now, here's the bigger secret. It shows how weak they are with all these global treaties and this FCC power grab that they still haven't released it. So Time Magazine and CNN can announce, Obama saved the internet, long live our king. It shows that the fight goes on. We need to make Congress move in and block this and go after companies that are lobbying for it. We're going to watch all this. We're going to give you the intel. This is the war for free speech. This is the war for the Internet you're seeing unfold right now. And that's the talking point for everybody because it's the truth. This is a war on our free speech. And folks, if they get that, they're going to get the second. They're going to get the fourth. They're going to get the fifth, the tenth, the ninth. They're going to get everything. We're being usurped. We're being conquered. We're being overtaken right now. But we're kicking their butt on fluoride and GMO and homeschooling and a thousand other fronts. Joe in New York, you're up next. Thanks for calling. Uh, FEMA Region 2, that is, Alex. Yes, sir. Formerly New York. Oh, that is correct. I badgered my reps of trying to get them to vote. Being, I'll be from New York. You know, it's Nita Lowy, Elliot Engel, Chuck Schumer, Christine Gillibrand. You know, basically a waste of time. Basically a, a toilet bowl full of you-know-what, yeah. Uh, th that is absolutely correct. And every issue that is pending with them is just like a wasted phone call for me when I do that. And um, uh, my qu quick question is this. I, uh, I see the end of the Internet freedom coming as we speak. Oh, and, yeah. Um, what, what I'd like to George do Soros wants this show and the Drudge Report shut down on record, and now he funded this. What does that tell you? Well, uh, George Soros, the character himself, I used to admire him. I was going for my MBA in banking and financing when he wrote books like uh, uh, Being Ahead of the Curve, uh, how naive I was at that time. Well, we anyway, were all naive uh, once, brother, so don't feel bad. Just, just, just your, your man to admit it. Yeah, indeed. In fact, uh, you know, he's a, just a total tool joke. And but nobody knew he was a Nazi collaborator. That didn't come out until the late 90s. And then he came out and admitted it and said he wasn't sorry. Well, he's probably good friends with, uh, what's his name, uh, Prince Bernhard of the Phil the Bilderbergers. Oh, yeah. So that's probably the reason behind that. Anyway, uh, I'm looking ahead. I see right now the lull, the calm before the storm, before they start tampering with the Internet, as we know. I agree. So the question is, why are they lining it all up now? Go ahead. No, actually, it's a meta question. Uh, that, yes, uh, but one more. I do remember when uh, Mayor Bloomberg was running for mayor, they actually handed out radios to anyone for free with a Bloomberg radio station that was just up for him during the election time. 
So you would turn it on. It would be one station. It was a Bloomberg station. And you'd listen to Bloomberg crap. And then you could go vote for Bloomberg. I remember uh, that. My, my idea is this. Um, I, I'm, I'm sure other people are thinking about it, too. Having an alternative Internet, maybe an underground Internet on a, on a different frequency or a different something or other that might and be allowed. We to should be launch our own Manhattan Project that's public where everyone races to build alternatives for when their censorship comes in, and then we'll have the jump on them. Absolutely. Plus, the Internet was designed so it's hard to shut down. If we use alternative systems, and then that will basically... And don't ever use Internet, too. That's their new fake Internet. Once they have that, that's when they'll try to kill the real web. Stay with us, folks. Great call, Joe. Philip, Dave, and others, you're straight ahead. And I wasn't even aware that Jakari had covered the gun issue. I mean, I knew he covered it with Cargill, but I didn't hear the whole interview. Full body transplants will be possible within two years, says controversial surgeon. The Italian believes the technique could save the lives, and he is a top surgeon of people riddled with cancer whose nerves and muscles have wasted away, but then there'll be a huge market in getting bodies. The world's first full body transplant in which someone's head would be sewn to the donor body could take place in just two years, according to controversial surgeon. We'll cover this more. Right now, let's go to your calls, Philip and then Dave. Philip, you're on the air from Virginia. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, in the run-up to this uh, tyrannical uh, maneuver by the FCC, uh, so-called net neutrality, I thought I heard, uh, I didn't read it, but I thought I heard uh, some information come out about this, uh, basically uh, that the White House was uh, – Consulting with the communist Chinese. Yeah, sir, that their... was in uh, AP, Reuters, uh, London Guardian. The White House and Zuckerberg uh, brought him there. They met with the Chinese internet censorship czar, and he endorsed Chinese censorship while putting out the uh, I'm Charlie uh, Ebdo thing. So I love free speech. I want to take your free speech, and my users are dumb effers. And yes, I mean, it was in the news yesterday. This is Chinese-style net censorship. But again... They're just going to protect the Internet. People go, but they say they're going to protect it. And they said they were going to give you free health care. And they weren't going to come after your guns. And raising the debt limit didn't raise the debt limit. They're a pack of liars. And now they won't release the provisions. Can you imagine what's in them? They want to pair it for weeks, how wonderful it is, and how great it is, and how it gives you free lollipops and tucks you in at night. And then when it finally comes out, it's going to be a nightmare like Obamacare. Just watch. All right, man. Well, I appreciate that uh, because uh, it's not an urban legend, and that is confirmed. No, it's not. The way to find it is Zuckerberg uh, meets with Chinese uh, Internet head or, or censor head, and then you'll read, and met with White House officials. And you're like, that, 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 that psycho sound. I mean, it's like, alert. Uh, this is serious. And again, it's every week now some new nightmare. What's coming next? It's like we're going down the roller coaster here, into the abyss. Dave in Canada, last caller. Sorry to John and Josh and Gene. I'm just out of time. Go ahead, Dave. You'll be our tail gunner. Hey, Alex. How you doing? Good, brother. Yeah, um, I'd just like to uh, bring this to your attention here. We've got our old pal Bill Gates. He's been up in Canada yesterday, and he's meeting with Stephen Harper and the other two uh, leaders of our uh, opposition parties. Yes. And it's all to do with the UN's dev Millennium Development that's uh, said to be implemented this fall, plus there's new guidelines to be set. Yep. And, uh, this it's is all Agenda 21 Global Governance Treaty, yep. It's all going to. It's all about improved data collection and vital statistics, uh, keeping track of everybody. If this doesn't tie into population uh, agenda, I don't know what does. Oh, they're, they're getting everybody and, on a standardized system, just like every car producer in the world, except yeah, for and, some and some some Eastern point. European country I read about. Every car producer in the world has boxes to tax you in them now. It's all unified continuity of agenda. I wonder how this ties into Codex Elementarius as well. You all know, of it. It does. When they, when they can surveil everything, they can control it and cut it off. And after this, Harper comes out on the news and he says, for God's sake, we have a responsibility to set an example. It's all right. Medical interventions work and we have to do this. I see legislation coming down the pipe here. It's all over the news. That's it, brother. Absolutely. God bless you. Sorry to everybody else. We're out of time. Great job, crew. Nightly news tonight, 7 o'clock central, prisonplanet.tv. And Lord willing, I'll be back tomorrow live. But don't count InfoWars always to be here. This is I've been warning everybody forever. They're coming after all your freedoms. Stand with us. Promote us while you still can.
Alex Jones here. For the last two years, I've been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to design a nutraceutical formulation that has truly life-changing health benefits. So many other formulations out there contain toxic ingredients, synthetic additives, and even GMOs. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. That's InfoWarsLife.com. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want...